All right, uh, welcome back again to my tutorials. Today we're going to talk about um, adding a lead sheet to main stage so you can see all you need to play on the screen because uh, the screen will be near you anyway. So you don't need an uh, iPad or sheets uh, on a stand. You can add this in a very simple way to main stage and you can see it on the computer screen. So how does it work? Uh, first, uh, we open a new concert and uh, this is a very simple concert. This is one of the presets from Apple. This is just one keyboard with 88 keys um, and a foot pedal. Um, we don't need any more. So we go to layout and we just delete all the things we don't need anymore so that we have a lot of space on the screen. Then we minimize the keyboard because we don't need to see the keys moving if we're playing. Uh, we move it down just to the right and we move the controllers down as well so we have enough space for a lead sheet. So in this layout mode we find the item background and we just drag and drop the background to our screen. Then we maximize it just as big as we can. We have to delete this one as well. So here's our background where we will place the lead sheet. So going back to edit, we find this image placed on the screen. If we click it, we have to define that it's a custom background. And then we select image and we select which lead sheet should be in that patch, in that song. So we may use self-written PDF and if you go to performance models this will be big enough on the screen. We may even select a real sheet. It's like that. Just as you like. You can write down a sheet before and scan it as a PDF for example and then add it to your patch. So every patch has an individual image to show so on every song you can see whatever you need to play it so that's it for today quite easy and um, thank you for watching and see you next time